Hey guys, I just got out of school today, like today is my very last day. And I'm going to make a video about why people like have problems with Naruto. The first problem problem is like Naruto and Sasuke's relationship. It's, they're pretty much saying that they're gay because like they're best friends and Naruto can stop like going after Sasuke. That's pretty much saying that Two guys can't be friends, like close friends, because it would be because it would be considered gay. Okay, now this is considered a stigma or an opinion. In my English ten class, we have a whole like thirty minute discussion on stigmas, but that's another story. It's pretty much saying that a male hairdresser is considered gay because he likes, you know cutting people's hair. I don't understand that. That's pretty much what people are saying and it makes me mad. They're not gay. It doesn't even mention that he's gay. What? Naruto can't just hit on his friend back? What's wrong with that? I don't, I don't understand people. The next one is Sakura's white character. Okay, I do admit in the first part of Naruto like, for the first 140 episodes or whatever, she did nothing. She just sat there and whined and complained. She did nothing. But, but when, our, but when Sa Sa Sakura starts asking, uh, Tsunade for help, you actually got to see growth as a character. Which I thought was pretty awesome. And Shippuden, she is not weak. She pretty much defeats Sasori. She does a lot of stuff. She, you see her grow and develop as a character. She's not going like Gaga over Sasuke. She actually tries to fight Sasuke in volume 52 and Naruto. She helps out with the fourth grade ninja war. She's not useless. I don't see why everyone thinks that she's useless. In Shippuden. And like the first more than half of Naruto in the anime. Anyway, I just, I don't see why. It's not sexist. She just wants to grow and develop as a character. Females can do that. Okay, I don't see why everyone just bashes on her. Makes no sense. Ugh. I swear to God. People, people sometimes. Next is Sassy's character. I, I, I don't like his character. He's He's really good. You want to go to Orochimaru for power, which I guess I understand because of his backstory. <clears throat> but in the latest chapters, I don't read online, but I heard he wants to be Hokage, and why not? He can... Naruto needs competition. Why not, you know? It's called having character development. Okay? That's when a character changes from from one point of the story to another point in the story. They grow and develop and change a personality sometimes. Or just really anything. I don't understand why people are bashing on his character, saying that his character is ruined because of this. I don't think it's ruined at all. But I do admit Sasuke is a douche when he leaves the village. He's pretty, yeah, yeah Sasuke is like, he's pretty much a. He's a dick. Yeah. But I kind of like that one. Next is side characters, which... I mean, a lot of side characters have some personality, like, some, but not a lot, like Shizune, Sanadi's assistant. However, in Volume 61 of Naruto, I did learn about Kabuto's backstory, and that is sad. That is just sad. Oh my god. Poor Kabuto. He didn't deserve that. You you get to learn about you get to learn about a lot about Neji Neji when he burst that spider guy in Volume Twenty Two. What else? You you get to learn about Kakashi. And the past and everything. 
I don't understand why people don't like the side characters. Like, they don't get much action. And volumes 1 through 27 of Naruto, they get a lot of action. But I do admit in Shippuden, they didn't get, like, a lot of action. They got some, but not a lot. Just, I don't know, a lot of people just think that, like, side, like, side characters aren't really, like, good. Which I don't think at all. I think they're awesome. My favorite is Kiba. Because I like dogs. And my dog is sleeping over there, being all cute. Anyway, that's not the point. <sighs> People need to always give the characters a chance. The next one is Tsunade as Hokage. Now, people say Tsunade is the worst Hokage because she let the village be in ruin. I do admit she was kind of bad because she could have prevented that by, you know, like, going after pain. But she just kind of ran toward him and really did nothing. But then again, how do you stop a giant wave of destruction? How? You, you can't. I don't understand how you can't stop it, so... I give her credit for trying, but you really can't stop that. I mean, it's like trying to take on a nuclear bomb. You know it's coming. You can try to, like, hide and stuff, but you can't prevent the destruction. You just can't. What I'm, what I'm pretty much saying is that she could not have prevented it. Next is the tuning exam. I heard like Hunter x Hunter is the same, but I never read it and I probably never will because it looks pretty boring to me. Anyway. Um, I can't really get too much into this, but the tuning exam was awesome. People say it's a rip off. But I do say that some manga like are influenced from other manga. Right, maybe Naruto was Maybe Masashi Kizumoto was influenced by Hunter x Hunter to create the tuning exam, but it's not the exact same as the Hunter x Hunter exam. So, yeah. Um, next is Shippuden, which is like my last point. A lot of people don't like Shippuden, they bash on it, saying it's boring. Really, I think it's better because... Well, first I always loved the original Naruto because... I grew up with it and everything. It's like my childhood. The bat and Pokemon. Pokemon's awesome. Anyway. It's just... I don't know. I I love Jiraiya's, like, death scene. I was really sad. I was kind of crying at that part. Anyway. I love Sasuke versus Itachi. Naruto versus Pain, obviously. Um... What else? I love, love the fourth great ninja war. It's awesome. I love Naruto saving Gara. Ara was really sad. It was really good. Of course, Naruto vs. Orochimaru was really good. There's so many great fight scenes and just, ugh, it's so good. So yeah, that's about it. Kind of ranted on, but yeah. Bye!